Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today's video is not about mowing. It's not about fertilizing. It's about weeds. I have a weed in my yard. Can you spot it? What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a competition, a weed killing competition. We're gonna have four different products and we're gonna put it down in four separate areas. But first, let me show you the weed that we're talking about. There's several little clusters down here. Of course, as you can see, the water will run when it rains and then it runs, it's kind of a little dip here and going around and it loves damp areas. Let's see, there we go. I bet you can see it now. Good old nuts edge. And as you know, nuts edge has those little nutlets on the bottom on its roots that'll go down and spread. And if you, I could probably pull each one of these up. There's a cluster up there, there's another cluster. So we've got three or four different little clusters here, but we don't want to pull it because then the little nutlets will spread and it'll just come back with vigor next year and be even a bigger patch. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down some products that we hope will kill the plant and all the, all the way down to the nutlet. And we'll see how long each product will kill it. And we'll also cover the different active ingredients of each product. So let's head to the garage and we will see what we're gonna do to resolve these little nuts edge problems. <laughs> Okay guys, here we are in the garage. I got my little workbench set up with my four products I'm going to use. And let's go over them, do a recap first of everything I'm gonna put down. I got them in a little order here. Okay, A, as you can see, I got my little flags here. It's gonna be sedgehammer. That's right here. Put down some sedgehammer. B is gonna be weed stock. That's probably the easiest because it's already pre-mixed. You can get this at your local Lowe's, Home Depot for like anywhere between five and $8 to catch it on sale. Then C is going to be image. We've seen that a lot. It kills nut sedge and bright red letters on the front. And then last but not least, we're going to use certainty. It's labeled to kill nut sedge. So we're going to give it a shot. Okay, this one's pre-mixed, but all the other ones, set this aside, we're going to mix up in 32 ounces. We've got certainty, image, and sedge hammer. I've got them all measured out 32 ounces the side actually says 25, so I'll put an extra 7 in to reach that little notch for 32. And then all my calculations have for spot treating with one gallon. So I basically took 32 ounces is one fourth of one gallon. So I based the product, I divided the product by four. For example, this edge hammer, I will divide it by four and we'll add it. I got my little gram calculator. And also have a syringe in case I need it. I may use this on the image. I'll convert the ounces to milliliters and I will suck it out of the image container here and put it in here. Let's get started with A first. So A is sedge hammer. The active ingredient is al sulfuron methyl and it is 5%. You can see right here on the front. And it calls for the entire package. The entire, entire package is I think 13.5 grams. Yeah, right here, 13.5 grams or a half an ounce. So we're gonna take that 13.5. This is for one gallon to mix up one gallon. And we're gonna divide that by four, which gives us right at 3.375 grams. So that's what this little fellow's here gonna be. We're gonna measure out that and we will put it in here. Okay guys, got this cut open. Let's see what it looks like. We're gonna turn this on this off okay put our little measuring cup on and let's tear it and now we're going to measure 3.375 got a little too much there 3.6 we'll try and back it down some Five. Ah, 3.38, so that's 0 0.01 hundredths. That's very close right there. So we'll put it in our sedgehammer container here.
we have our sedge hammer ready. We'll put our top on. You can actually see the product in the bottom. See that? So we will shake it up really good. I'll wait and do this one when we get outside in case it leaks or you know how bottles are. Sometimes they leak, sometimes they don't. The next one will be what's next is weed stop. And of course, ta-da, it's already mixed up. So we'll set this aside. And then the next one is image right here. And like this whole container treats 6,000 square feet. Now I'll shake it up really good and then we will pour the measurements up. First, let me back up a step. We forgot to discuss a little bit about weed stop. It is pre-mixed. It is a several ingredients. It kills over 400 weeds. Active ingredients of this is sulfentrazone and also has some dicamba and some 2,4-D in it. And it has different amounts listed. So if you're interested in that, you know, look at those. And the next is image. Active ingredient is this, is ammonium salt of imazequin. This right down here. It's got 3.3% in it. So let's shake it up. And I'll extract some of it. And according to the instructions, you put 2.5 fluid ounces in one gallon of water. We have 32 ounces, so divided by four. That gives us 0.625 fluid ounces in the 32 ounces, or about 18 milliliters. So that's what this little thing is for. That way we can get exact, we can get 18 milliliters right there. And we'll just squirt it down in there. We'll be good to go. Now we're going to get 18 milliliters. I'm gonna try and do this by myself. You know, I have a little container to pour it in and then suck it out of, but let's see if I can get it out of this. Hey, look at there. What do we get? 15, 16, 17, almost. Let's do this. Let's get the air out of it. Whoop. Okay, let's try and suck one more milliliter out. Oh, there we go. 15, 16, 17, 18, right there. Perfect, so we will take this, squirt it down in here. That really isn't much, 0.625 ounces. It's really quite small. It just looks like a lot in this little syringe here, but the syringe is really narrow. We will get that done. And we will put the top on this one as well and give it a good shake out in the yard when we get ready to put it down. All right, that one's ready. Can't see it because it is clear liquid. That's why it's important to label your stuff. Sometimes you can see the product, sometimes you can't. Okay, here is Certainty. The active ingredient in this is sulfentrazone. It's, what is it? I think it says 75%. Yes, yeah, 75% sulfentrazone. It should work really good. Some of these, like the Weed Stop, they have a temperature on it because I know it, the weed stop will damage the Bermuda brown it some if it's over 85 and here in Alabama it's almost always over 85 in fact you probably see the pour, sweat pouring off of me so let me get a new container and then we will measure up the certainty okay here we are back I have a clean measuring cup so we're going to turn this on we will reset it and this certainty says to put one small scoop for 32 ounces or which is 0.16 or if you have in two gallons you would put four small scoops so we divided that by four put 6.16 in 32 ounces so we will see how this works I think my small scoop is somewhere over there but we'll just sprinkle it out 0.13 it's not a whole lot 0.15 Probably another little piece. There we go. That jumped up to point seventeen. So that's close there. Grams. This is in grams. So we will mix it. Turn this off. 
Oops. We will. Make sure we get every little piece in there. Okay, I almost forgot on the certainty. It does need a little surfactant in it. All the other ones, does, the labels did not mention a surfactant, so I'm just gonna leave them as is. Like this edge hammer, didn't mention it. The weed stop, it has it built into it because it's pre-mixed and also the image, it didn't either. So I'm just gonna put a drop of, cert, of surfactant in here. I'm just using the Southern Ag surfactant. Whoa, that's good. Just something really small. There we go. That just helps it stick to the leaves of the weed. Okay, I've got the products all laid out here, A, B, C, and D. First, we're going to take the sedgehammer right here. You see the product has already settled a little bit, so we will make sure we shake it up really good. All right, you see the whole mixture is good and cloudy. So we know the product has really mixed up well. We'll open that. Let's see. Prime it. Oh. Let's get a nice fan. There we go. All right, so we got sedge hammer. We got our flag. And we got our sedge hammer. Make sure, always make sure. <laughs> I double check and triple check. We'll come out here and we will stake one off. We'll come to this first one here. This entire bed, sedge hammer. And also the sedge hammer, it's said to, it really works on mature sedge hammer where it's three to eight stalks. And of course this is very mature because it's been growing here quite a while. I've been keeping an eye on it. It says to soak down the leaf good. that little spot just should be taken care of the next one we have here is good old reed stop spectricide this is really a good all-around weed killer i mean you can't beat it to be honest for the for the average homeowner this can't be beat and it says at the bottom kills yellow nut sedge right here for best results supply when temperature is between 45 and 90. oh good i thought it was 85 so that's good because all week this week it's going to be 85 degrees it's really overcast we actually have a little cool front coming in it's bringing some rain but tomorrow is supposed to be our warmest day at 87 so we should be good at applying this i have hurt bermuda before in the past but let's take our flag and let's go spray we will find a spot i'll do the one closest to the driveway here that way if it really browns it up it won't be as noticeable as the one out in the middle of the yard this one's actually quite big. We put our flag in. Grab our handy gun. Extend it all the way. First, let's rotate it. Put it on the fan spray. That makes it easy. I'm basically just trying to hit the nut sedge and not overspray too much on the Bermuda. those up there I think we should be good let's see you see any I missed no nope. okay we should be good with that let's go ahead and close it up this is a neat contraption too battery operated a little gun can't beat it for a little spot treating all right it's looking pretty good not too bad if you see a brown tinge to it I put a lot of humic down yesterday because we got about a little over an inch and a half rain last night. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, hopefully it soaked it in also through some, let's see, what, what I put down, Humic DG. We, I put several down several products. I put down some simple lawn solutions as well, some 1648 uh, liquid. So hopefully it'll give it a good pop in the next day or two. The third one here is Image. Our good old Image right here. 
this is the most popular ones, especially at the big box store that for killing nuts edge, people, this is usually their go-to, especially for, also for Poana, like in the late winter. A lot of people go for this because you see right here, it kills annual bluegrass for Poana. So a lot of people, that's their go-to. So we'll take our image flag and we take our bottle. Let's see, mix it up really good. And again, this was clear, so you don't really see any powder in it or anything. These are good bottles, they're not leaking. Sometimes you'll shake a bottle and it'll go everywhere. Okay, let's see, what's the next one? We'll do this one right here. It's really close to the other one. Make sure we coat it good. And again, try not to overspray. No need to overspray. It's not necessary. Okay, I think we got a pretty good coating there. Okay, last and certainly not least, because you know the Celsius Certainty combo punch for Bermuda grass is awesome. But this one is just Certainty. So we'll grab this flag and we'll go do, I saw another little spot next to the one we just completed. And we will knock it out with some Certainty. And the good thing about these, we'll have these for spot spraying. If I, if I see any other little thing pop up here and there, I can just grab this and do some spot spraying. Okay, I think the next one is right here, right next to the image one we just did. I'll put it right here in the middle of the, this patch here. Okay. We'll make sure we coat each, each one of these little fellows really good. Okay, I think that covers it. Okay, awesome. And that was certainty. Okay, guys, as you can see, here's our little test plot. We've got one, two, three, and four. Once I start seeing some damage, I'll come bring, the, grab the camera, record it, and tell you how many days after application it was. And the good thing is I got all those little packs. I can walk the yard. I may do it this evening. I like to walk the yard and hand pull little weeds that are, you know, annual weeds. But if I see any other nuts edge, see like there, there's a little pile right, right in there. I'll hit it. And there, I think I saw some way up there. But I'll walk over it and I'll grab one of those and use it. See, but this is our test pilot project right here. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys in a few days. Okay, here we are exactly one day, actually closer to about 25, 26 hours since I first made my application on these four te test areas. I just got in a good mow. I think I went a little heavy on the painting it black mentality. <laughs> you can see it's kind of black up there. But anyway, let's look at these areas here and see which one has done good so far. First off, I really see some color here, changes here. This is the weed stop, spectricide. Look at that, already turning brown, already dying off. I can see a little damage to the Bermuda in the surrounding areas which is to be expected considering the active ingredients but yeah it's slowly dying the cow yellow that is all right let's move over here to this is what the image okay we can see a little bit of damage here not a whole lot see like that stalk there you can see it's turning yellow and the tip of it looks already turning black so we are seeing some damage using the image. There's another one. Tips are black and falling over. There's another one there. Okay, let's move here. This is the 
what is this this is the certainty up there certainty we are actually we are also seeing some turning black right in here on the tips of these leaves this one's turning yellow with a little black on the bottom yeah so certainty is taking care of the action too see that right there and then last but not least is the sedgehammer it's actually the least of the two let me show you the flag here make sure we're in the right area that sedgehammer but it may take a little longer it's starting to turn a little bit of yellow at the bases here so we'll come back in a few more days and see how things look all right guys here we are day three for a quick update on these four areas here let's look at it real quick we got sedgehammer it's still well, looks like it's doing working very slow but it is working you see some dead tips and a little a little yellowing in there you see it see the yellow at the bottom and the black on the edges here then come over here to the image the image appears to be working slowly as well but you do have your dead see your dead stalks or dead leaves and then we jump over to the what was it certainty uh -oh, starting to rain on me yes it's definitely working too it's working really good it's actually graying more of the leaf than the other two and then we jump over here to the, the weed stop and it did a actually it did a hideous job look at it it's just it hurt the bermuda pretty bad in the surrounding areas but it is taking out the nuts edge so hopefully it gets down there and kills the tubers too but yeah it devastated the nuts edge as well look at that right there that one's really bad it just took it out and fried it but like i said it did turn the bermuda all around it kind of a just a yellow tinge that's why i tried to just spray the the uh, weeds <clears throat> good old nut sedge so that's day three we'll come back probably a couple more days and we'll show you and then we'll wrap up this video all right guys it has been nine days since i put my four strips down i just got a mow in not looking too bad for middle september but let's look at these let's see i'll take the first one here this is sedge hammer and yes it is knocking out the nut sedge look at the yellow really yellowed in there now, i do remove these and real mow over them so it's getting pretty low and look at here this is the you don't even see the nut sedge anymore in this but you do see where the bermuda got a little burnt and this is the weed stop but yeah you can i don't even see nut sedge so there's a little piece right here still hanging on right there but all all of it's gone it's just disappeared and then third over here we've got our image right here it's slowly working and it did hit the bermuda a little bit i'll show you next in the morning you can really see in the morning it's not as bad as the weed out but the image it kind of tends to the bermuda too it's kind of it's really brown all through here and then last but not least the certainty it's slow i heard that it was slow but it will gradually kill it and just you'll never see it again so it's just really slow but you can see the brown marks on the leaves turning yellow and black so again this is day nine and i'll probably come back tomorrow morning and show you guys what i'm talking about on day 10 and then we'll conclude the video okay here we are on the morning of the 10th day while the dew's out i want to show you what it looks like you can see a little you can see where it was burnt a little the bermuda from the chemicals a little better in the early morning before the sun comes out and the dew dries off so this one is the weed stop as we showed that yesterday just but you can actually see where the nut sedge was just completely black look at it all in there but yeah you can definitely see where the bermuda was burnt and then the sedge hammer you can see a little better too you can see this yellow so it's really taking it out so it's doing a good job on it Oh look, a little spider web. And then we come over here to 
to the image and you can see the image it's a little bigger but you can see where it damaged it wasn't near as bad as the weed stop next to it but you can see it did damage the turf just a little bit so if you did a broadcast spray of, the, of that expect your whole yard to do that and then the small one here is certainty it really didn't damage the turf too bad in fact almost not at all so similar to the sedge master but yeah it is taking it out you probably see the, the black blades a little better too it may come back wait several more days because i'm still not ready to release the video still editing it so yeah, it may come back in a few in probably three or four more days All right, guys, this will probably be the last video I shoot in this, or the last little section I shoot for this. We were th we we're right at two weeks. So 14 days from today, I sprayed these four areas. Let's go ahead and show you the image, a distant shot you can see. Now we hadn't had rain in over a week, so the, the yard's really starting to show, you know, the, the good old brown stuff. But this, it should have been fully recovered. Usually after two weeks, it fully recovers, but you know, consider we had no rain and I hadn't watered it. It does look pretty bad where it hurt the Bermuda, but it did take out all of the nut sedge. There's a piece there, but it's completely black. It's dead. So it, weed stop, yeah, weed stop did take out all the nut sedge. So now let's move over here to the sedge hammer. It did a really good job. As you can see, it didn't hurt the Bermuda. At least it doesn't look like it did. But it definitely killed the nut sedge. Look at there. It's still yellow. And I still I do remove these flags and mow. I'm still mowing, you know, every other day. Just about. But yeah, it knocked out the nut sedge. So that did a really good job. And then we move over here to the image. It did hurt the Bermuda some. You can kind of see the area. Let me stand up. You can kind of see the little area come around this way. But it did, as promised, take out the nut sedge as well. Although that still looks like it might be green back up. But the rest of it through here, it still looks like it's very slowly dying. So I would imagine after two weeks, it would look a little worse than this. More like the sedge hammer over there. So let's move to the last one. And of course, certainty. Yeah, certainty. It's slowly dying too. I'd say it doesn't look quite as bad as the sedge hammer. So I guess if I had the choice between the two, I would probably go with Sedgehammer. It really knocked it out pretty fast over there. And it didn't damage the Bermuda, just like the Certainty. The Certainty didn't damage the Bermuda and the Sedgehammer didn't. But the image did, it tinged it. And then the weed shot really looked like it almost killed the Bermuda. It, it, it hurt it so bad. So there you go, guys. You can see the four different options you have and what it does and our temperature here is about 95 all week this week so we're getting another a third wave of heat coming through just to give you an idea of the temperature and the heat it's really hot here in central alabama so guys i'm just gonna leave you with that if you enjoyed this video enjoyed seeing the four different products give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below you know anything i respond to pretty much every comment i get almost so guys i hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video